if your Power BI cards are looking dull and ugly, this is the perfect tutorial for you because I'm going to show you how to create beautiful cards. Let's get started. Okay, this card has been created by Miguel from the Power BI team, not me, but it is an excellent workout for learning how to do good cards. So let's start by selecting the new card. This is the new card visual. And then we're going to pick the data. The data is going to be product name from products there. So there we have the product name. Now let's go through the formatting pane and see what we need to do to make this beautiful. So size and style, we don't need to change the size for now. The padding we're going to change is going to change the padding of the inner borders. So we're going to pick 15 for all of them. And as you can see, you know, it gets separation on the borders, which is quite nice. Background, we're going to leave it as is, but we're going to add transparency. We're going to actually add 16%, so you can actually see the background. And for the visual border, we're going to get the same color as the one that is shaded out, which is this one. And then I'm going to put 25% on the rounded corners. And then as you can see, do you see that they are rounded there? So perfect. Okay. So we have everything from this style. Let's move to the title. For the title, we are going to call it product. We are going to have the bold version of it. And that's basically it. We're going to have a subtitle too. I think actually subtitles are very, very neat because it allows you to have a little bit more explanation of what the visual actually is in case it's needed. So that's really, really nice. So we're going to leave it at 10 and then the colors and the size, and that's going to be the same. And now within the title, we're going to move to spacing. We're going to have custom spacing, and then we're going to have a space below title two and a space below subtitle. You know, everything gets cramped in, in this type of visual, so it's quite nice that now we have a spacing possibilities. So this is going to be 10. And you can see that it can breathe a little more. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's go to the callout values. The callout values are these ones, the, like the title in the card, if you would say. We're going to start with this one, which is our product name, and it's going to be 2016, you can see it there, and then we're going to have a bold, and that's about it. And then we're going to move to the label. I like to actually close the ones I open, otherwise it just gets like impossible to see. And then for the label, we're actually going to have it from the product category. You're going to get these files so you can play, so don't worry. Product category. You have it in there and now we're going to have bold. We're going to have 58 and the color is going to be like a gray color. Uh, I'm going to put it in there. That's the color. And then we still wanted to have, as you can see, it's even more bold. So now it is both of them are bold. And I want to have it below. You can see that this one is below that one. So that's nice. And then that's it for now. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go to, it would be nice that if you click on one, the other one closes automatically. But yeah. So this layout, you cannot change until you've picked a reference label and you do want to change it. But first we are going to pick a reference label. Accessory A, we're going to have accessory B and then we're going to have uh, tire uh, speeds. So those are our three reference labels. There are the ones down below there. And now you see that this turn on, so you can change it to 73. So you can actually see, you see the difference? So it is how big that white stuff actually is. And that I've wanted to do so many times, I didn't know where to find the setting. It is actually there. So you can see there. Perfect. So we can close and we can close the color value. So we continue with the um, reference values, which is the ones down below. Right. So we go to all and then we're going to turn off the background. We don't want to have that ugly gray background. I really don't like it. Uh, we are going to go through the titles and we need to 
change them. But there are some things that we can do on the old level and there are some things that we can do on the that we have to do on the card on the reference label level. So you know the fonts, the colors, the sizes we can change. We want to have the same for all, so we change it on all. And the other ones, the name, for example, we can change it individually. So for the title, we're going to have 11, and then it's going to be bold. We will change the name later, don't worry about it. And then we're going to have for the value, 22. And this is going to be dim light. So you can see them there. You can actually change also the divider while we're here. So I'm going to just change the transparency instead of picking a color. You can do either way, but I'm just going to change the transparency. So you can see there. And let's change the names of each of the labels. You have to then go here. So you go to product name and then you can select each product name and then you can start giving the name. So this is going to be uh, tires. Right, so now that we change them, we're going to change the position for them. And you do that, we go to all. Let's get rid of the titles. And I think it's the layout. So instead of rows, you pick columns and they get into, they move into columns. Uh, we're going to put them in the center. And now we're going to change the spacing. As you can see, this is like super close to the dividing bar. We don't want that. So we're going to do 20 and 20. And you see that it, it just gives more space instead of everything getting so close to each other. So with that, I'm going to now add the image that you can see here. So we go to images. For the card that is product name, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to pick a URL because there is here in the data one call link. So there we have the bike. We want the bike. We want to have this below text. And then we want to have the space between the image and the call out a little bit bigger. And then this is the size of the image. So we're going to put it 520. So there you have it. And now we're modifying how the card looks like. The card is like the white part. So if we open cards, the first one is where we want to have a rounded card and it's going to be a nine pixel rounded. And then the background is on, but the border is off. We do not want to have a border. The background is going to be, um, I have it here. This is the one. It's an image actually, so you're going to put fit and then you, you know, the blue border appears. And um, last but not least, we're going to change the padding of the card. And this, you're going to see what it does. You see that it actually, again, gives like the spaces between the borders and the images and all that stuff. So it just puts them in the center. So if we do this, same size, you see that it fits perfectly. So now we have the exact same card. How fantastic is this? I recommend you to actually do this yourself, not just watch me do it, because there is a huge difference between watching somebody and doing it yourself. You will do mistakes and yeah, you will learn more. So I hope that these will help you master and create beautiful cards and I will see you in the next video. Bye.